Hey guys, welcome back to DIY Exotic Wear. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your threads without re-threading your entire machine. So let's jump right into it. You're going to start by clipping your threads and you want to make sure you're leaving the string long enough because you're going to have to tie on your new threads to that. So we're taking off the black thread and now I'm adding red and I'm just replacing each spool and I'm tying a small knot at the end. And you want to make sure you um, cut the excess off, but don't cut it too close to the knot or it will come apart. So I just changed the looper and now I'm going to change the two needles, repeating the same exact process that I did on the looper, tying that knot and cutting the excess thread off. Okay, now that we have tied all of our knots, it is time to pull the thread through. So you're gonna release the tension disc if you're using, if you're doing this with the cover stitch, you have to release the tension disc. This is what's gonna allow that thread to be pulled through and you can look very closely and you'll see the red thread is coming through the machine. Um, once that red gets to the needle, you are gonna have to re-thread just the needle because the knot is not gonna fit through the needle hole. But it's still a lot easier than having to re-thread the whole machine. So now I'm doing the same thing for the second needle. I'm just pulling that thread and you can literally see it. I'm releasing that tension and pulling through the red thread. It's so easy, guys. And like I said, you can do this with your sewing machine, your sergers. This method works for any kind of machine. And now it's time to pull through the looper. The looper, the knot will go right through so you don't have to do anything. The looper is the easiest one to pull through. So you can see it's coming right, right through. Now, like I said, you do have to thread the two needles because the knots do not fit through the needle hole. So that's what I'm doing now. And this part, Sometimes it takes me a while because I'm blind. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. After you get those needles threaded, your machine is ready to use. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.